Businesses in downtown Indianapolis are starting to reopen their doors. This after vandalism and looting a couple of weekends ago left many restaurants and stores severely damaged. RTV6's Stephanie Wade spoke to business owners today to get a sense of what they're dealing with now and how people are stepping up to help them out. You know, this might not look like much, but this is a big step for businesses downtown. Finally removing those boards after windows were smashed out during violent demonstrations nearly two weeks ago. You know, it's tough for us. It's been hectic. They just put it like that. From having to close their doors because of COVID-19 to delaying opening back up because of extensive damage caused by looters two weekends ago. All the windows have been broken, even the front window, the back windows, um, even some stuff has been thrown inside. Romeo Gerson, the owner of Michael's Soul Kitchen, says he's still working with his insurance company to make repairs. When it first happened, we, there, the shot was there. Um, we were a black owned business. We have been helping this, this during this whole COVID-19. We have been doing all kinds of stuff. So when it happened, it was like, wow. Some businesses, like the Commissary Barber and Barista, just a few blocks away, have been able to open, though, after having their door kicked in and some barber equipment stolen, too. We were out front helping out during the protests. We passing out milk, you know, passing out water and anything we could do to help out. We were protesting ourselves, so we were a part of it. When it's peaceful, it's great. You know, it sucks the door got kicked in, but when it comes to human lives, a door is nothing. The owner of Michael's saying he also understands people's anger. He's hopeful for the future and has been humbled by the community's support, like from City Life youth volunteers helping clean up. To make sure that we imputed love back into the business. They hit him, but they did not break him. You guys have came down here and tried to poke the dragon and try to pivot us in towards one another and try to push hate with hate. And hate with hate leaves nothing but bloodshed and chaos and uh, tearing up our city. And that's not what Indianapolis is about. Think about how we're going to move forward and what we can do to make a difference. And that's what we're doing right now. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Well, on Saturday, they're closing the whole block of Ohio Street outside of Michael's Restaurant between Pennsylvania and Delaware to say thank you to the community for supporting them.